Welcome to 3 Minute Thoughts. So, I've always been a computer nerd. I mentioned in a previous video that my dad built our first computer. Uh, we'd play simple, basic games on it. That's the language, was basic. Then we'd define the programming code in magazines and then manually type in the code. Some of the first games I liked were adventure games, like the original adventure game. I don't know, like, if you can still find it. That's where you'll find the phrase, twisty little passages from because at the very bottom of the Hall of the Mountain King because for some reason it's themed of the Hall of the Mountain King. You had to find 13 treasures and the very bottom was this maze of twisted little passages. The phrase kept changing depending on which room you're in. It was like a maze of little twisty passages, a little maze of twisty passages, and whichever of the phrase it was let you know which the cardinal direction you then went to, get to the next room, but I don't remember the pattern. I wasn't a big fan of the Zork series, which is where you get, you, know, you might get eaten by a Gru. I did like those Scott Adams adventure series. Uh, he had a Pirate Island and, and a couple other games, and those were a lot of fun. And because I loved all these games, uh, my sister designed an adventure game. Now, after watching that video, which I pointed out earlier, uh, she reminded me that her programming skills, she was really happy that she was able to make a text-shaped frog, stick out its frog and go ribbit. It actually went like, Grr. So she was happy that she was able to do that. So the programming, and that was still from a script that we got from a book. So we couldn't freestyle. We weren't at the skill level of freestyling our own adventure games. But what she did for me is she cut out some cardboard and she designed her own adventure game tabletop style. Uh, this was not the first RPG I played, but it was kind of, it was the first non D&D RPG I played really. Even though it wasn't really an RPG, it was an adventure game. She had the map, she had some scripting stuff, and then I would give cardinal directions or give simple commands, and she'd tell me what is going on. And I don't remember much of the plot, except I believe there was a lake and a swan and a friendly dragon involved. And I believe there was tangible rewards or interactions, like there was something I could actually physically drink and cookies or something like that. And I don't have a copy of it. I would love it if I still had a copy of it because she did afterwards give me the, the, the packet of the adventure that we, we played. No idea that was that was 40 years ago. But it was a lot of fun and it was a different way of uh, just being creative as kids because we were very imaginative kids. So how about you? What kind of games did you play as children that were more unusual than your traditional childhood games? Or do you remember playing any of these text-based adventure games? Let me know in the comments. Thanks.